Hello, 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 and welcome back to DML. So today we will be hatching the glorious Duskwing Dragon. You can see his lovely egg right there. But before we do that, I very quickly wanted to point out that in the new VIP gem spending event, there is a new dragon that we have never seen before. So we can click on this, and again, this is VIP only. And it says, spend as many gems as you can to win awesome rewards, blah, blah, blah. At 1,700 points, you unlock the Phoenix Dragon, which we've seen plenty of times. But the first prize in this event is the Don Dragon. So this is obviously, you know, like mafia related stuff, but we've never seen this dragon before. This is the first time we've ever seen him. And it's very strange that he's out in a gem spending event when we haven't even seen the dragon before. But either way, you can go and check him out yourself in game. Shadow, Metal and Wind. So not the best epic that there is, but mostly I just want him for his design. But gem spending event means he's probably going to be pretty expensive. So there are other events in that that I want to get into as well, but I also want to get this bad boy hatch. So, you know, I think the main thing I love about this Duskwing Dragon is the fact that it's a combination of like a little crow and some cool looking dragon at the same time. And he is huge! Again, the dragons with this body type are so much bigger than normal dragons it looks like. So, trading tough scales for soft feathers lets the Duskwing Dragon glide soundlessly through the night sky. This talent makes it particularly mischievous when it comes to terrifying Vikings. That's cool, he's got some sort of like mini trade policy going on. That's pretty intelligent for a little baby. I can appreciate that. But, pretty nice egg, the baby, eh, he's okay, but my favourite part of this dragon is his adult form. But if you got this epic pretty early on in player levels, Water Shadow and Plant is pretty insane. 67 base attack really isn't that bad either for an epic, so... You know, if you are a relatively low player that managed to breed him, I would kind of recommend using him on your actual team. So his name is Gem, and he suits this little, this little pond perfectly. But, regardless... We will be feeding him up. So, there we go. Level 4. And how about we level him up to like... Eh! I don't know, level 15 seems to be like the average that we tend to level up dragons to. Oh, look at him though! Oh, he looks beautiful. It's just... You don't get too many dragons that look sort of spooky compared to, you know, cute, but this guy is like a perfect in-between, perfect little legs. He has really thick eyebrows, holy, a bit. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this dragon. A lot of people were like, ew, he's so ugly. I, I really don't mind him. I don't see what your issue is with little Jen here, but, you know, he was part of quite a annoying event to get, so even if you didn't get him, at least we can enjoy seeing him together today. So, you know, thank god the Dawn to Duskwing event is now over, so people don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> uh, hopefully the next few events are going to be a lot easier. But, like I said, along with that, that is not the only new stuff that we have in DML today. If you haven't noticed, in Otto's Lotto, there is something very special going on. So you'll see that there's a little symbol for the ace dragon here, and in the limited time events it says limited time ace pieces in Otto's Lotto. So if you click on this, it says watch a short ad video to get an extra spin on the lottery wheel. So you actually have a decent-ish chance of getting pieces for the ace dragon, and you have an entire week to get the pieces for this. So assuming the ad videos actually work, just for watching ads, you might get yourself a new dragon. So overall, I think it's a pretty cool little deal. So there we go, I finished watching an Ashvol 8 ad, because of course it has to be something like that. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me, gang? Come on. Eh, you know, I was like, whoa, are we actually gonna get five gems for this? Not quite, but it does let us watch some more, so it is another very RNG thing as to whether you're going to actually hit the 
the area that you need, and plus the size of the area does change depending on the wheel. But go try it out, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you know, let Gameloft know so that then they actually fix the events rather than just giving us the same one in future. But I like that they're trying out something new. I really do, I appreciate that. Even if I complained about the Dawn to Duskwing event, that was for very particular and obvious reasons, but I like when they experiment nonetheless. Alright, so we got a little gem here in a quick battle, just because we want to see, you know, what he looks like. Oh my god, he's huge! Like, to compare him to the size of the butterfly dragon here, he actually is like double the size. I'm not sure why this body type is that big, but he sort of like gets in the way of other dragons. That's so random. Like, I thought that when dragons change their body types, they were like literally all the same size, but maybe that's the difference with this new body type. Maybe that was like one of the, the new additions to it. Because it kind of looks like the Leonine style, I think it's called something like that. You know how the, you have the Earth Dragon and dragons like that. And everyone was like, yeah, but it looks super similar to that body type. Yeah, well, the Earth Dragon isn't like triple the size of a normal dragon though. That's the difference. Oh, and he's dead. Rip. Well, doesn't matter how good he is if he dies anyway. But to be fair, the only reason he's dying is because we don't have him upgraded or enchanted or anything like that. I mean, right now we could level him up to like level 30 something, but I'm gonna save all of my resources in case we need them soon. But very cool dragon, very cool. And if you managed to get a hold of him, then good job to you. I'm glad you got lucky either breeding him or you managed to, you know, invest the amount of gems that you needed. Because you had to get very lucky to manage to breed him in time. If we're being completely honest. And you know what? We're not going to do this just normally, so fine. I'm going to use Dragon Fury. I refuse to accept defeat. Uh, assuming we even still do this. Okay, yes. We do one-shot their remaining health. Thank goodness. I got concerned for a second. It's like, is that even enough? Yes. Yes, it is. God, dragons that haven't been upgraded in the academy are literally so weak. They're literally the worst. And did I ever get the gargoyle dragon? I didn't, did I? How do we still not have this dragon after this long? He's just a rare. And I've like never ever gotten him. That's ridiculous. I've been focusing on the armory dragon way too much, it appears. Way, way, way too much. <sighs> But you know, one thing that I didn't even really consider with this gem spending event is the fact that, well, I did kind of mention it earlier, but do you really want to be spending your gems right now just before the divine event comes out? I mean, you know, new dragon, obviously, it's going to be very tempting, and there's already someone that spent 3,350, because of course, why would they not? But... You know, I would much rather save my gems for a divine rather than a random epic. And I know you might be like, but he's cool! He looks so cool! Yes, I get it, he's a cool looking dragon, and he's brand new, and maybe some people are willing to invest that amount. Hello? Okay, I am spamming the claim button. There we go. I was gonna say, is this how we're gonna do this today? <laughs> But, yeah, I, d I don't know, so close to the new Divine event. Mm. I find it kind of difficult to sort of say that it's worth it. Because you'd have to invest, like, a ton of money now and a ton of money when the Divine event comes out. So are you really willing to spend that much money? Well, I guess that's your own choice. But it's still probably important that you consider it before making any of your purchases. Because, you know, I haven't put any money on DML in a long time now. Like, quite a few months. And if I was going to put the money on, I would rather put it on for the best dragons in the game. But, 
Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me that thinks that. And we got some gold. I guess it could be worse. Well, not really. I think one of the worst rewards out of the dungeon probably is the gold reward. Because I have, like... I want more food all the time. I can't even do this quest. Rip! Um... Like, did we have a ruin going? We did, didn't we? Oh, God. This shows you how much I pay attention. I actually don't even know. So we'll claim that. Side quest battles in the campaign map. Easiest quests of my life. Let's go and do it. But, oh, Seeing a dragon, like the Don Dragon, it, it's kind of cool because that's obviously a design we've never seen before. But at the same time, it's like, was he added this update? Or was he added last update? You know, the sooner that we get confirmation of that, uh, the sooner we know, like, how many epics we have yet to see that are, you know, yet to be released. And I want to know if there's any other dragons in the same theme as him. Like, another sort of Mafia-style sort of thing. Um... I don't know, very weird idea, because obviously DML's meant to be super kid-friendly, but then it's like, oof, you've got some guys that are massive fans of using weaponry. Might be going into some, you know, spooky territory there, Game Loft. Whew. But nah, I, I think they should be able to put in any dragons that they want, as long as they're not, like, actually murdering things on the screen, because, you know, parents can be super, uh... I guess iffy about that. It's like, I don't want my children seeing violence. Which, you know, I guess is fair enough. But, you know, let, let's not have any any dragons with, like, huge breasts either. Because I think that would be a little bit weird. No, we're just talking on the verge of dragons that should or shouldn't be allowed. You know, I'm talking about, like, the thong dragon. Let's think it's just... A, a dragon with a gigantic ass that is just wearing a thong. Yeah, maybe that's going a little bit too far, you know. Although the idea is certainly intriguing. I've intrigued myself now. What kind of dragon would you see doing? I can see Andy doing that. Because, you know, he's got the really straight back. So I can see that, you know, if he put some, like, Botox injections into his backside. I can definitely see that happening. Don't ask how I got here. How do I get to this point in my mind? I have no clue. It's just, you know, it's hot. I'm still quite sick and in a, a bit of pain. Not as bad as it was. So my mind is wandering. Wanders quite a lot. I'm either busy Dying, or I'm busy thinking about dragon's butt cheeks. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But you know, we didn't get any new info about the Divine event today. They did say that there would be more info coming tomorrow, though. So that would be Tuesday. So today we just got a ton of really cool little mini events and new dragons and stuff like that. But tomorrow we should be getting more info on the divine stuff and I'm really desperately hoping that they confirm some of the divine dragons tomorrow because as always you know with data mining and stuff like that the images for the new dragons have already circulated everywhere and I think at this point most people already know what they look like anyway so just confirming that their elements are what we think they are I think would satiate my concerns and all I'm gonna say is doesn't look good for Andy doesn't look good for Andy on our team that is all I'm gonna say if if the apparent leaks are true that is which we don't know yet to be fair and don't want to assume anything just in case you know some of the stuff that's been going around was completely fake but you know, Shadow Plant Divine. I've been saying that for a while. If that ever comes out, like, technically speaking, Andy, our little autumn dragon, is going to feel pretty pointless. 
and we're gonna want to replace him eventually because you know divine is just a better legendary like if you have legendary plant shadow you'd rather have divine plant shadow because divine is just so much better it does the same thing that also buffs you or your team so uh i'm not looking forward to having to upgrade another dragon again but, you know, I guess that's what we get for investing into Legends. Eventually, Legendaries will probably all be replaced with Divines. So I think you always have to be willing to accept that eventually there's probably going to be a better Dragon out than the one that you've upgraded. Like, the Lantern Dragon, Firelight, yeah, there'll probably be one of him. And then, Plant Shadow, yeah, there's going to be one of him. Just like how there was a Divine, Shadow, and Light. Just the same thing. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this new divine stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what other brand new dragons we actually have as well. But let me know if you're going to be actually trying to purchase this guy or not. But until next time, I will see you then.